Hey adventurers! Welcome to the second edition to Shy Girl Adventures Cooking with Snapchat. We are going to be cooking today some shrimp avocado toast. Those of you that follow me on Instagram know that I have been craving avocado toast all week. I finally gave in and went to buy some of the supplies and we're going to make our own avocado toast right here in Shy Girl's Kitchen. You don't mind I am comfy cozy I am not fancy at all and you're in my house and we're cooking so I'm sure you won't care right all right so let's get cooking so for this avocado toast let me show you what ingredients we're gonna use first of all obviously avocados we need two avocados in our shrimp we're gonna use some barbecue sauce so I have it there and ready and for our avocado portion, we're gonna use some lime juice, so I have lime juice. We're gonna use some salt and pepper. For my garnish, we're gonna use cilantro and oregano, and that's gonna be toward the end of the recipe. We will also, as a garnish, use some queso fresco cheese. We can't forget the shrimp, that's one of the main ingredients for this dish. So I have some raw, shelled, and deveined shrimp here, that's a half a pound. We're also going to use with the shrimp some garlic and barbecue sauce that you saw over there. I have that ready for us. So we need two tablespoons of butter. And then we are going to use some onion powder, which is right here. We're gonna use some chipotle chili powder. And then we have some smoked paprika. And then we have some brown sugar here. So the first thing we have to do is whisk our spices together because we're going to coat the shrimp and the spices before we put them on the stove to cook the shrimp. So we're gonna put the whisk to the side here and I'm gonna take my one teaspoon of brown sugar and we're gonna dump that in there. We're gonna take our half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and dump that in. Then we're going to take our uh, quarter teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, or chili pepper I should say, and we're gonna put that in. And then last but not least, we're gonna put in our onion powder and that is also a quarter cup. All right, so we have our spices there, woo! There's our spices together and we're just gonna whisk these. Adventures, we have a guest that wants to cook with us. Check it out. Here's Bowie. Hi Bowie. Do you wanna cook with us today? All right, now that that's nice and whisked, it's time for us to coat our shrimp. So let's do that. And I'm gonna start to just sprinkle this on top of our shrimp just like that until it is all coated. So our shrimp are ready and I'm walking them over to the stove and we're going to go ahead and turn our oven on to medium heat. We have a large skillet and I'm gonna put some butter in there, have that melt a little bit and then we'll start to saute this shrimp. So here's our shrimp. Here's our two tablespoons of butter which I'll unwrap in a moment. We're gonna turn this to medium heat. So I'm gonna put it at a, like a six-ish, six, five and a half. And I have my large skillet ready with my tongs. And let's do this. All right, clean hands, there's the butter. We're gonna melt that on the skillet. Now for those of you that don't wanna use butter, I'm sure you can use maybe a butter substitute or maybe even vegetable oil. Um, or actually olive oil would probably even be better. But we're gonna follow the recipe tonight because I think the butter might make it taste just a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna start adding the shrimp and the butter will continue to melt. Oh, who am I kidding? Let's just dump it all in. It's a lot easier. It might not look like there's a lot of shrimp here, but they say not to overcrowd. So if you don't have a pan that, that is this large, they suggest that you cook these shrimp in batches because they should each have their own spot to go to on the pan. The other thing is you have to remember we're having avocado toast so we're not going to have a ton of shrimp on each piece of bread that we eat with our avocado. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells delicious. So just so you know the shrimp has to stay in the skillet until it's pink on both sides and then after that we're going to add our barbecue sauce and our garlic. We're going to take these beautiful ripe avocados and I'm going to cut and peel them and put them in this bowl and then I'm going to mash them with some salt and pepper. So there's our two avocados. They've been cut and peeled and put in there and we are going to mash them. All right, it looks like our shrimp is just about done. Let's turn these over. Oh, look at that. They're nice. 
These are going to be ready for our garlic and barbecue sauce in a moment. Y'all want to come to my house for dinner, don't ya? So the next thing we have to do is stir in our garlic and our barbecue sauce. So let's go. So there's our shrimp. There's our barbecue sauce. Just so you know, that's two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And now we have our garlic. And now I'm just gonna use a, like a spoon, a spatula spoon, to kind of mix these all around. And I'm gonna also turn off the heat. So I'm gonna move it over so that it doesn't continue to cook. And we're just gonna continue to kind of stir. Oh, that smells so good. And this is what your finished shrimp will look like. I'm just gonna keep it in the pan so it stays kind of warm while I finish the avocado part. And then I'll show you how we top this in a moment. So to mash these avocados, I'm gonna use a giant fork. That's it, nothing fancy. All right, so here is our final mashup of our um, avocado. And now I'm gonna add our spices to that. I didn't wanna do it before I um, smashed it just because I want the salt which we have here a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a tablespoon of lime. I want all of those ingredients to mix evenly amongst these two avocados. So we're gonna put that in there now. There goes our quarter teaspoon of salt. There's our quarter teaspoon of pepper. And whoop, careful, our tablespoon of lime juice. And we're just gonna give that a nice mixed together. Now I like food spicy and the ingredients did not call for red pepper flakes but I'm actually gonna add a few red pepper flakes to this avocado concoction because I like it and I want it spicy. So, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of those red pepper flakes. I'm really just doing it by I feel there's no real set amount. And voila our avocado paste if you want to call it or concoction is finished. Now it's time for the final steps. We're gonna cut some bread we're gonna crumble some cheese and then I'm gonna plate this and you're gonna get to see what this dinner is gonna look like. So there's our sourdough bread. I am using my trusty bread knife and I'm gonna cut it right down the center and then I'm gonna cut four pieces. And there are my four pieces. You'll notice I cut them pretty thick. Remember, this is what we're having for dinner and although I think it will be filling, you definitely don't wanna have super thin pieces. And if you guys are like me, you love your bread, you love your gluten, so Having thick pieces of bread is not a problem. I'm not sure if you're gluten free how you would go about doing this. Comment below if you have a good recommendation of some kind of replacement that we could use instead of this bread. I'd be really interested in trying that. We're at the end of our recipe. I told you this was gonna be super easy and it was. It didn't take much time at all. In fact, it takes me a lot longer to make these videos because I'm filming, but really this should only take about 15 minutes to make. So the last thing that we need to do is crumble the cheese. So when you buy this cheese, it comes in this package, queso fresco, and I've already cut some out of it. So it's a round piece of cheese, and you see it's already starting to crumble. I took a, I put the cheese in here, I took a fork and just kind of mushed it up. And now we have our cheese, we have our oregano, we have our cilantro, we have our two plates with bread, I've plated the shrimp, we have our avocado. Now let's make some avocado toast. Okay, before we plate this, there's one more step. We have to toast this bread. It is avocado toast after all. All right, my bread's kind of large, but we're gonna put it in here anyway. All right, so now that our bread is toasted, we are going to smooth our avocado concoction or paste or whatever you wanna call it onto each piece of bread. And we're going to grab some of this shrimp. We're gonna sprinkle some cheese. We're gonna add, and my fingers are a little messy, but that's okay. We're gonna add some oregano. And last but not least, the cilantro. All right, adventurers, here is the final product. The avocado toast, we're pairing it with some peach wine, and of course you have to have a little water. And there's the other one. What do you think, honey? I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this too. Let's take a bite. Besides being a little messy, <laughs> it's delicious. Comment below 
Once again, if you have a gluten-free option for the bread, then comment below if you decide to try this. I'd love to know what you think of it. It's delicious, super easy, and healthy for you. Thanks for joining us. I hope you guys have a great night, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, adventurers. Bye, adventurers.